a cockroach can live for up to one week without its head. These little reptiles sleeps up to 18 hours a day. Have you ever counted their feet? No, they have almost 100 legs. How are these scary creatures beneficial to us? What are the interesting facts about them, while what are the hazards? Harmful impacts and disadvantages of those insects, all we will discuss in this video. So stick yourself to that video and let's go. Today's video is very informative. Without wasting any time, let me tell you. Number 1. Ants. Scientifically called Tapanoma sessel is a species of small ant that goes by the common names of odorous house ant, sugar ant, stink ant, and coconut ant. They live in colonies in our houses, grasslands, and forests, etc. People also ask that, what causes ants in the house? Ants usually come indoors in search of food or nesting habitat. Even small amounts of food, like pet food crumbs, can attract hordes of industrious ants. Ants are one of Earth's most successful animals. What are the disadvantages of having ants in the house? Once you have an infestation, the pests begin their work. They chew through and hollow out the wooden areas of your home, which eventually disrupt its structural integrity when left untreated. That damage can be severe because their colonies can grow to over 10,000 workers. But keep in mind that they are also beneficial for you. But how? Ants are among the leading predators of other insects, helping to keep pest populations low. Ants move approximately the same amount of soil as earthworms. When you kill an ant, then they sense danger. They want to investigate the cause of death before carrying the dead ant away to the midden. Thus, it is not good to kill ants in your house because it will just make more of them come. Number 2. Cockroaches are a paraphyletic group of insects. About 30 cockroach species out of 4,600 like to live in the human places. Some species of cockroaches are well known as pests. How hazardous are cockroaches in the house? Cockroaches eat a wide range of food, including rotting garbage. Hence they spread a number of diseases to humans including salmonella and gastroenteritis. Recent studies have indicated cockroaches can also cause allergies. Squashing a cockroach can spread diseases to us. Let's talk about the bright side of cockroaches. Is there any advantage of cockroaches? They do only one thing beneficial, which is decomposing the dead matter from house. And that's it. Do you know that? Cockroaches have been around since the time of dinosaurs. A cockroach can live almost a month without food. A cockroach can live about two weeks without water. A cockroach can live for up to one week without its head. Number 3. Mosquitoes are approximately 3,600 species of small flies, comprising the family Culicidae. The word mosquito is Spanish meaning little fly. Mosquitoes have a slender segmented body, one pair of wings, one pair of haltiers, three pairs of long hair-like legs, and elongated mouth parts. Mosquitoes are one of the most dangerous living thing on the earth. Mosquitoes are harmful and can spread viruses like West Nile, Dengue, Zika, and parasites like malaria. Other mosquitoes bother people and are considered nuisance mosquitoes. Nuisance mosquitoes bite people, but don't spread germs but their bites still feel painful. Mosquitoes also containing some good impacts on our ecosystem. If there is no mosquitoes, then many animals could decline due to a lack of food. Fish populations could be impacted, as many fish species rely on mosquitoes as a food source. Did you know that only female mosquitoes bite people and animals to get a blood meal? Female mosquitoes need a blood meal to produce eggs, while male mosquitoes feed on flowers and leaves. Number 4. The common house lizard is a gecko native to South and Southeast Asia. It is also known as the Asian house gecko, Pacific house gecko, wall gecko, house lizard or moon lizard. 
These small lizards are non-venomous and not harmful to humans, but may bite if distressed, which can pierce the skin. The greatest danger posed by lizards in houses comes from salmonella. Salmonellasis in humans causes uncomfortable flu-like symptoms and may even be life-threatening. Although lizards are afraid of human beings and other big species, so they keep themselves away from you but may bite if distressed, they are also beneficial for you. In fact, lizards help us because they eat pests. But don't freak out. If you spot a little lizard in your house, it may actually be a good thing. Most lizards eat insects, so they can help rid your home and garden of harmful critters. People frequently ask that, how long do lizards sleep? Here's the answer. On their favorite and optimum habitat and environment, they can fall asleep from 4 to 18 hours a day, which is quite a big deal. Number 5. Flies have a mobile head with a pair of large compound eyes and mouth parts designed for piercing and sucking. Their wing arrangement gives them great maneuverability in flight and claws and pads on their feet enable them to cling to smooth surfaces. They are scientifically called diptera. You cannot easily get rid of them from your house. House flies are strongly suspected of transmitting at least 65 diseases to humans, including typhoid fever, dysentery, cholera, poliomyelitis, and tuberculosis, which is enough to consider them harmful. I'm telling you these dirty little insects, also having some benefits, despite their dowdy appearance, flies play a significant role in maintaining the ecological balance in our surroundings. They are also ecological pollinators. House flies live on a liquid diet they can taste with their feet. They can spread a range of diseases. House flies can walk upside down. Flies are able to see behind them. The lifespan of a house fly is about 15 to 28 days only. Number, Number six. six. Common house spiders live in and near human dwellings. Their prey mechanism is similar to that of the other cobweb spiders. They follow disturbance and movements of small insects along their web to entangle and then paralyze their prey. What spiders take as food? Spiders feed on common indoor pests such as roaches, earwigs, mosquitoes, flies and cloth moths etc. Those common house spiders are harmless. They always try to keep them far from you, but they're scary. Nothing sends more shivers down to your spine than those little creatures. House spiders use sticky silk to catch prey. Once the spider abandons the cobweb, dirt begins to build up due to the stickiness of the thread. Cobwebs then get covered in dust, making them more noticeable and giving your house a dirty look. Female spiders lay up to 3,000 eggs at once so that they have a large appetite. They are all around the world. They are too fast and can easily catch a fly. Number 7. Centipedes are related to the insects group. The name centipede literally means 100 legs. And indeed some kinds of centipedes have nearly 100 legs. They are identified by their long, segmented body with each segment bearing one pair of legs. Centipedes are predators. Many centipedes are venomous, though not all are. Their specialized front limbs contain venom glands that help them hunt. They first use these powerful front legs to catch their prey, and then kill the prey by injecting it with venom. Larger species of house centipedes can bite if they feel threatened, especially when roughly handled. But mostly house centipedes are frankly too afraid of humans and do not actively seek them out as any sort of prey. But if they bite you, it may inject venom into you. Although house centipedes can be gross looking, but they are actually a little bit beneficial to homeowners. House centipedes are rather large and feed on unwelcome pests such as cockroaches, moths, ants, spiders, and even termites. Centipedes are kept as pets in Japan. They have long lifespan and can regrow their legs. They are light sensitive, thus they mostly come out at night. 
Number 8. Bees are winged insects closely related to wasps and ants, known for their roles in pollination and, in the case of the best known bee species, there are over 16,000 known species of bees. Some species including honeybees, bumblebees, and stingless bees. Their stings can be painful and dangerous to people with allergies. They pose a minimal threat to our daily lives. They only sting when feeling threatened. They are also sometimes hazardous to crops. When they sense danger to them or their hives, they can sting any kind of animal. Alongside all of these, they are very beneficial for humans as well as other living beings. Bees are a crucial insect group for pollination of vegetables, fruit, oil seeds, legumes and fodder crop production. They are also well known for the production of honey. A single bee lay almost 800,000 eggs in her lifetime. A honey bee can fly up to 15 miles per hour. Honey bees are always those bees which dies after stinging. Maybe that's enough for today's video. If you guys want me to continue like read this type of knowledge based videos then you can subscribe my channel and watch my other videos.